Welcome back. Liquid against Aurora, Western Europe against Southeast Asia, and a little bit of news for you. We've just discovered it as well. 23 Savage is back, so it looks like Aurora should have their full roster. Dragonite's thinking, hey, I'm probably not going to die here. It's going to be annoying, but I'll stay alive and keep my experience going up. Insanely getting charred down by jabs. Does turn around with a stun with a little help from Mickey, but First Blood is here for the Timbersaw. And we might see Q start to make some more of these moves as well, especially once we get to that six minute point. Guard up some of these runes. And of course, he can start stacking the camps back in his triangle. As we watch Boxy going on a bit of a wander, migrating through enemy territory to get picked off by Ollie. Radiant have a sentry ward that is an observer ward. So that blocks the camp and gives vision. Why not block the camp? Luna. Three hero chasing Mickey. And down she goes. Ollie and Q now chasing onto Insania. Timber chain forward, and Jams lining it up for another kill in his bottom lane. Doing very well for themselves, Aurora, trying to match it here with Liquid's rotation of Nisha. Comes into the spot spot with the OD to maybe catch a kill on Timbersaw. Throws down a Sandy's Eclipse. He does get the kill. Can he follow through onto Ollie or Q? Looks like they're going to be speedy enough to slip away. Another Astral, the range is there. Nisha just about catches up in time. And now Mickey can respawn, filter back into lane, and take the kill. Thank you very much. A killing spree for Mickey after dying. Got to feel real good about himself now. Oh, the chain cancel. Jabs. He just runs around and turns into the box. He has 23 savages rotated in. The nine-minute morphling move into the bottom lane. Guarding the ancients and Lorna's here as well. Nisha's in a bit of trouble. Getting slowed down. Caught up too by the adaptive strike. But Nisha's so fast. 365 movement speed on this OD gets him out of danger. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure Puppy used to play Jungle Shadow Demon and Jungle Storm with that kind of strat. Anyway, up at top, 23 is going to waveform over the top of Team Liquid as they come charging in to that top lane. Banishment is there. 33 and Boxy looking at the Shadow Demon to stop any save plays. A simple kill potentially with the Sanity's Eclipse dropped. Timbersaw half HP and 3 3 trying to stack up the damage on the jab. Looks good as Ninja half HP dropping lower and lower. Turned on but self saves with the banish now. Boxy taken out by Lorenoff and 23 and Nisha's in trouble as well. Brought to his knees as Team Liquid have gone too deep. Insane and 33 don't have Mickey joining them, so they're in a 2v3. I don't think Brewmaster. Slowly but surely, whittle down the Ventral Spirit. Much deeper onto the left-hand side of the map. It's also giving quite a bit of room to 3-3. Three, three, but it is 23 that's getting run at. Oh, the damage from Nisha, just enough there. Yeah, and Liquid want to turn this into a proper fight. They've got good damage onto Q. Mickey has come in to clear him up, and 3 3 arriving from the northern side. Ollie and Lorenoff, mana being drained out of the DK. Eclipse is coming in here. 23 Savage has joined the fray in a massive jump in from Jabs. A lot of damage, but no kill just yet. Mickey has to pull the Manta to run away, but the waveform forward. Yes, 23 the kill, while 33 does snipe out Lorenoff in the back lines. His little Brulings, though, taking quite a bit of a beating out of this OD Morphling. Astral up for now, though, and Boxy's arrival, and insane. He gets the stun out of the Astral. Good save, though, from Ollie. Bubbles up the Morphling. Boxy dropping low. Ah, he gets out of danger with the help of the Ventral Spirit. Now the Morphling's the one who dies. Ollie running to the right. The Dragon Knight still trapped and sent under by Nisha. Doesn't even need the big ulti to land on him. Just taps him down with a couple of clicks while 3 3. He's so tanky. This Radiance Burn must have done a tremendous amount. Not just damage, but protection for him and his team. Small fling, he needs to start ramping up quickly. And that's what Liquid are banking on. Ollie, looks like he's going to tank the gang this time around. Does keep 23 safe and sound in behind him. And good aggression from Liquid. Can they say Boxy though? Doesn't look like it. Well, I'm going to get picked off there by Jabs, Lorenoff, and 23 Savage moving in towards 3 threes. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You just cannot touch this Brewmaster at all. 
a look at Boxy as well from the back. The jump is on Tanisha now. Half health. The Boxy does get a connection on the stun. The two supports. Then caught out. Soul blind and disruption are down, but Lorenov disappears. Luna shredding through Aurora's heroes. Three in a row. Mickey picks them all up. A triple kill for Luna. No further casualties for Aurora in terms of heroes, but they're going to lose tier two here. That just died too quick, but a surprise, like that surprise move from Boxy, getting the two-man stun on both supports. Oh, Nisha is getting run at now, though. 23 goes into OD form. Insania. Come on, can we back him up? Nah, you can't. Nisha dead the first time. And Team Liquid going to leave the OD stranded here, it looks like. Completely surrounded by Aurora as they strike back. That is a pretty hefty blow they've dealt to Liquid there. Ollie's dead here. I know he's not going to be able to try any illusion baits or anything. 33. Going a little wild in this dire ancients area. Chasing into Q. Yeah, two of them have died already. The fire and the void are gone. The earth and the storm, all that remain. Nisha does come in and that's a lot of pain. Destroys Q. A stun there onto 23. Morphling is shifting though, it looks like. And jams back in onto Boxy. Magic immune though. Dealt with by the Dragonite's damage out of there. Right clicks who has to BKB and run though. Grim and Shadow Demon traded out for the Lion. The cores have spent a few spells. Dragonform BKB expended. And Liquid gonna be happy with the trade they've made. Man. <laughs> Goodbye, Jabs. They've got to get something big. They need the jump to pay off. They're on the 3-3. But there's the Astral. It's probably time for the reset. They've got Swap. They've got the reinitiation if they want it. 3-3 is dying. The Swap is required. Jabs and 23 Savage jump over the top. The Bruce still alive. Staying up and running as Mickey can turn. He can fight now. Nisha will run straight into all Jabs. Take down the Timbersaw. 23 Astral. What's he got left? Waveform is ready with a Manta Style 2. He needs to pop them all to try and run away from this, but he's turning to fight. He pushes Nisha back. 23 Savage runs in to die. Gone for a minute, and this is probably a uh, multiple laser barracks for Liquid now. <laughs> Pretty low downtime. Oh, Timber. And he's all right for now. Glarnock jumps in. That's aggressive from the DK. 23, throws a spell at Mickey, just a little boosting beam as the Soulbind comes into play. Self Astral from the OD. 33 to the back line, dealing with a Q. 23 Savage is the focus though from Mickey and Nisha. They're getting stunned up. Jab's very low, about to die. The swap is there and the kill from Nisha comes. Aurora have to buy back on their Timber Saw. Because 33 was 1v4 and just sending them all back. A finger of death to finish off Q. Lorenov still playing that front line. BKB Dragon Knight trying to kill Mickey, but he's still got Aegis on his Luna. Mickey can walk up high ground here. Force Aurora back into their fountain. Kill off another barracks. Look for the kill on the Shadow Demon, so Ollie's gone. Buy it back again. Aurora descending. Hero after hero. Into the... Into the destruction of Liquid are bringing. I just don't think you can punch back on this. The Glaives are bouncing. Tier 4s are falling. Now the move on to Jab. Timber Sword just gone. All disruption. Hey, disappeared for a second. He'll come back and blink away. Buys a bit of time to get into fountain. He survived. But what, what, what then? 23 Savage is dead. He walked into the middle of Mickey's bouncing Glaives. <laughs> He's gone. Thrown is down. And Jabs in the end will call GG. A Team Liquid victory in game one. I just had a memory unlocked, but I can't remember who the players were. Is Boxy gonna... Yeah. Think about it with Insania moving forward. Bounty rune. For Insania, but he might die for it. Aurora trying to chase him. Crystal Maiden. How fast are you with the Frostbite? Gets on the tower and actually survives. 10 HP. Is Ollie gonna be the one to die? Boxy chases him back up the high ground. Grabs the first blood. Now, Boxy's not allowed to survive this. We'll get taken down by Jabs in the end. Nice blast off. Boxy in towards Ollie. He does get stomped up here, though, as Loranoff makes his move up towards the top rune spot. Boxy getting caught in the Chakram, but gets a distance away. They get the kill on Ollie. Now, Loranoff has to TP away. 
Absolutely should with that sticky bomb to help out. Mel damage takes him to half. Frostbite's there to allow Nietzsche. Oh, Insania gets the last hit. Not ideal, but a kill nonetheless. And then Boxy denies the neutrals. Pops his wand, has a fairy fire, and also the backup of Liquid. Both supports coming in towards Jabs. Last off misses, though. Frostbite onto Jabs. Venetia realizes you can't turn and fight this. Mikit has picked up Loranov. On the opposing side of the fight, though. Asleep on Venetia with the rotation of 23. He's under Invis with the Mel. Sentry drop. Now Refraction is back up. Jabs in trouble. Insania Boxy turned to fight the DP now. Insania's dead, but this is a huge fight for Liquid. Venetia, he's been clipped. Gets one hit down. It's 3 3 Roar and Mikke's arrival looking to snipe them out. Another stop from Ollie. Ooh, cancelled by a shackle shot out of the Wind Ranger. And now with a Hawk. Gets rooted and. 23 didn't realize they've got tons of stuns here for Liquid. Getting blasted by McKay and Liquid with a real decisive team play. I was laughing at Foxy, sniping the Wisdom Rune, trying to sneak away and then dying in the end. Yeah, you're going to need Butterfly, you're going to need MKB probably. Jabs with his exorcism, didn't get the tower kill, but Mikke gets annihilated, Nietzsche stuck in here as well. The Earth Splitter with a ghost flying over the top, Loranoff now standing on the dead corpse of the TA. Chakram's there, and Nietzsche about to drop. Aurora bring the fight bottom, Liquid filtering in one by one and dying. With Medusa in the front, Timber, DP having that push strength through the XO and tankiness of Timber. And Liquid kind of filtering in you know, one by one, not being set up, trying to react. Now Liquid are playing aggressively, aggressively though. Good foot forward. Boxy gets blasted out of here. 23 reacting nicely. Aurora again rebuffing Liquid in their aggression, sending the supports to hell. 33 and Mickey maybe thinking about turning here, but uh, re-entering this fight is so challenging. Jabs and 23 offering a really nice tanky front line, and the dragon will get sniped out in the end. Kill after kill? Yeah, this has gone from... Okay, we just rewind a couple of minutes, right? 33. He does pop his BKB, but he has no TP. Trying to turn and fight with a roar and his Ancient going to work on to Ollie. And the Titan has that Pavis on him with the one charges as well. He stays alive, gets the kill on 3-3. And the Thunderhide Lizard dead as well. Getting the catch with that Rod of Atos root. Nisha from up on this high ground, which has been mined up by Boxy, trying to... Oh, yeah, some disgusting stuff up there. But now we've got high ground vision for Aurora. Silence from Jabs onto the TA and Techie. Jumping from Loranov, in for Boxy. Kills him immediately as 23 runs forward. Scardy the slow, with Nisha in trouble. The double force staff to get him out of dodge. Insania from the tree lines. Just going to throw out the freezing field for half a second as he gets obliterated and killed. And into the roach pit we go as Aurora have dominated this area of the map, controlled them out, and Liquid, no response. And Loranov could get burned. Yeah, we've got the BKB off of the roar and the damage out of Nisha, shredding through Timber, and they get the kill. Two massive crits at the end there. Yeah. This is potential for Liquid to gather up and play into mid. In comes Nietzsche with some massive physical burst. Rubik's gone. Boxy not going to escape from 23's grasps, though. Now the Wind Ranger arriving straight onto the Medusa, burning through her mana. 30 seconds on Aegis. We're going to keep an eye on that timer. Liquid trying to poke and prod, baiting Aurora into this position where they've already lost their hero and now they've got to kind of filter back and deal with their lanes. Trying to make this happen. Onto 23's Medusa. I think Roar was stolen, so difficult here for Liquid with a great shackle though. 23 Wind Waker up in the sky and Loranoff with the damage. Everyone's half HP from one jump out of the timber. Now the chase from Jams with the ghosts flowing. Boxy, yeah, he's got a bit of help from Nisha here on the left side of the fight. Loranoff will chain forward and try and get on top of this TA, but she blinks away. They've managed to catch up to Insania. Frostbite is there from Rubik onto the Beastmaster in that middle lane. So 3-3 with no BKB and no TP, yet again going to get caught out. Let's see though what Aurora can do on the back of this. Can they get to high ground? Can they take a lane of barracks? Looks like the answer is no. They're just going to go for tier 2 top. Radiant are scanning down bottom, but Aurora knows exactly what's going on. They're setting up for this. Q's hiding in the trees. Glimmer caves and gets away from danger. They do jump the TA though with Lauren off the side of the vice coming in onto Nisha. BKB galore. 
Nick K and Nietzsche realizing they can't do anything. They've got to turn tail and run. Earth Splitter won't connect with anyone, but it's Aurora with full control of this team fight. Liquid, they, they enter and they exit in the blink of an eye. It's like, okay, hello, goodbye. I'm out of here. Boxy trying to slip away does get out of there. But Aurora now has free reign to push the base. Boxy gets blown up by Jabs and Loranoff. They need creep waves though. Mid lane did get cut and it looks like bottom as well. So they don't have free reign to enter the base. They don't have a freaking creep wave. Boxy getting destroyed, Nisha under his own Ancient getting shredded by 23, no buybacks on either of them. And Beastmaster does return to the battlefield, but now it's a 3v5 plus Aegis Cheese, so a 3v7? That's not a fair fight! And now you've lost your Crystal Maiden. Liquid running out of options quick. 40 or so minutes in, Mega Creeps are about to come. I mean, is it TA? Is she even close? Miles away from it. Lauren, I'll just keep jumping into their faces as well. No buyback, no TA for a minute. <laughs> Insane here. This long it's not even long range poke, it's long range kill threat. Mickey's run into the fight and has the BKB to run away. And GG called. Like the long range Chakram and Earth Splitter on top of the spirit is disgusting. Oh. <laughs> I think they just got to be.